And sad news for swimming fans today. Omaha will not host the 2024 U.S. Olympic swim trials. Instead, Indianapolis gets the gold. Since the last four trials were held in our city, it generated some big money for our communities. 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco joins us live in studio to tell us how businesses are feeling about that loss. Vanessa, the illustrious Olympic trials attracted thousands of people generating millions of dollars for Omaha, but it was being in the vicinity of world talent. That's what sparked inspiration and awe from spectators. It's definitely, it pushes you to want to be better, to excel and to become a better swimmer and to, you know, aim to be you know, at the trial someday, especially when you're young, you, ha you have, you know, your dreams are big. Katherine Anglin grew up swimming for clubs in Omaha. In 2014, she started coaching for Millard Aquatic Club. Whenever the trials took place, the club always experienced a bump in enrollment numbers. So they want to be involved. So it's really, it's cool to see that kind of event have an effect on, yeah, the local clubs in the metro area. Letting another city take reins of the meet brings mixed emotions in England. It's bittersweet. We've had it for four years. So that's 16 years over the, yeah, over the course of time. So I will say, you know, it would have been awesome to have it again. It definitely doubles our business. And of course, you know, with the overlap of CWS and then you get that extra pop of swim trials again at the beginning of July. I mean, it's it's great for all of us folks downtown um, and losing that is it's going to be it's going to be sad. Sunny Renner, the CEO of DJ's Dugout, shares the same sentiment and is already thinking of tactics to grow their crowds. How can we build the crowds at Creighton University for baseball? I mean, what a great place, but it doesn't bring in, you know, a lot of fans. I mean, it would be nice to build those kind of things. The streetcars coming to Omaha is going to be huge and having, you know, the lack of parking that we have right now. In 2016, when we had the record breaking um, attendance year, it was worth $74 million uh, to the local economy. And even in, you know, 21, when we held the 20, the delayed 2020 uh, swim trials, it was still worth about $35 million to our local communities. Visit Omaha Executive Director Deborah Ward is determined to maintain Omaha's position as a host of large sporting events, confident will fill in the gaps. This year, the, we've got the International Horse Jumping Competition, which is uh, here every year, but it's kind of a precursor to the FEI World Cup event in 2023, and that'll bring competitors from all across the globe to Omaha next year. But it's seeing greatness unfold in her familiar sport. That's what Anglin will miss the most. They've put so much time and effort into every single, um, every single race, and it's just, it's been awesome to be able to witness that up close and to be able to try to convey some of these things to our swimmers as well as coaches. In a statement to 3 News Now, the Omaha Sports Commission expressed disappointment with the news, but is proud of the trial's growth while in Omaha. Thank you so much, Isabella.